All right, so I made it to the property. It's about 3, 3.15, so I'm running a little behind, so I'm not gonna make this very long. But I'm planning on shooting a doe tonight is what I'm thinking. I've seen quite a bit out at one of our feeders, and so I'm not gonna walk out there because I'm late. I'm gonna jump in Rusty, our, our ranger, and head out there so that I can get there in time and get settled in, and I'll see you on the blind. That, that was a good shot. Her reaction didn't make me feel like I uh, put a good shot. It almost makes me feel like I'm mostly shoulder or something, the way she was hobbling, but I may, may go jump down here and see if I can go find her. And my guess is she's probably hasn't gone too far, so. Um, I don't know, I may go see what the blood looks like. I'll watch the video a few times and see if I can tell uh, where I think I hit, but I'm not too positive about that shot, just given her reaction. I should have put another follow-up shot in her, but I thought she was going to go down. So I'll give it about five to ten more minutes and then go see if I can figure out what happened. Well, I didn't see any blood, but I just started walking where I knew she went. And she's not about, probably 50 yards from the feeder. All right, so I got her hanging up. See the weight. Not sure how you can see that. Right around a hundred pounds. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to get better at doing exit interviews because apparently I don't like to do those. So on this one, I just wanted to follow up on it. So I shot this deer, and she weighed about a hundred pounds. Went ahead and quartered her out. I think I'm gonna make some uh, link sausage from her and do some steaks as well. And so hopefully I'll be able to put a video up for that. The rest of Thanksgiving break, I was targeting a buck and I never ended up seeing him. I talked to my neighbor uh, later that week and he had uh, shown me a picture of a buck his son had shot and it was my target buck. So it's unfortunate, but that's just how, uh, how things work. And at least I know he's gone and not looking for him still, so I'll just move on to the next target buck and hopefully he shows up and I can take down a, a nice buck this year. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I should have a couple more hunting videos coming up. This was a exciting weekend, so it was a lot of fun. But stay tuned and subscribe and hit that bell notification.
Thanks, guys.